The fans here are ready, the players are ready. It's about to get going. It's Brazil serving, it's the USA rece receiving its quarterfinal number one from the Men's Volleyball Nations League here in Bologna, Italy. And it is going to be first point for Brazil from Lucarali. So, USA on the board, and that will send Russell back to the serving line. Not quite finding his mark with that one. No, he's definitely looking to go. They're going to go hard after the passer hitters here against Lucarelli. You're going to see a lot of serves come his way, so they might miss those on occasion. Could be a bit of trouble here. Well, it's into transition, a chance for Darlan to show what he can do. Oh, good set. Oh, what a set from Bruno. You don't know where that's going till it left his hands. You never do because he's facing the net. The ball's coming to him and he can set on either side of this ball. It starts with that jump serve. USA gets underneath it, but that transition play, he side sets that ball for the kill. That's pretty. Bruno with the serve again. That's nice. Oh, yes, DeFalco sending that one to Spike Tang with his first effort. Well, and I think that's going to be the game here, the stress of the pins, the block on the other side, with the speed of the offense right now that USA is running to the left side. DeFalco gets on this ball super fast and beats the block down the line. Oh, Garland, Miles up. What a great dig from Russell. Easy one, that, for Liao. And then off the hands and away, so a decent start for Brazil. Constantly looking at Luca Rally, who can set out from either the left or the right when he's, he's in the front row. He's got the ability to score in transition as well on that hard cross. Oh, they got him again, that little drop shot. Wow. Ball got in front of Russell. Normally this is a hard, hard driven jump serve that goes deep into the court. And he takes a little bit off of it. You see him slow it down just a little bit and it falls right in front of Russell. This time it's a great ball in. Oh yes, good up. That will come back, will it? Will it? Yo, oh. yo, is it? Yes, it has! Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> But it's still the USA that take the point. What an incredible get from Brazil. Unbelievable defense. You watch this ball's dug, and Bruno goes into the stands, one hand over the over the boards, and I can't believe they made this play. It's Darlan after that as well. But brilliant from the USA, sticking with it, keeping the pressure on, taking the point. Right at Liao, didn't have to move, and then, oh, <laughs> oh goodness, that has just been bags cross court. This is a sick angle by Liao. You watch this jump serve, it goes right into the lap of Leon, who gets on this, beats the block, middle holds the block, and gets that one on one opportunity. Isaac now with the serve, he's going to bring a bit of heat. Well, that's a good ball in. Once again, Brazil. Getting good touches in transition. Oh, what a shame for Russell. And that ball a little bit sticky. <laughs> well, you said it. Brazil slowing the ball down at the net. That's the key. Those touches off the block allows them to come right back in trance and hit high off the hands. Well, you just said cool to time out.
uh, both coaches by the looks of it talking about the blocking, but it really interesting um, for USA having Javier Weber on the team, very experienced coach in his own right, now a, a, an assistant with the US, bringing some incredible experience with him, and that will no doubt really help the USA team. Without question, those are the kind of people you want around to have that experience to help. Well left by Shochi. Now DeValco's going to look to see whether he can uh, cause a bit of damage from the serving line. A player who's definitely grown into his role as uh, within this team and very confident and, and happy and, and feels part of being in the first six. And he'll be delighted with that error. He'll get to have another serve. Well, those, that big attack. Keep an eye on that for Brazil. They're going to run that a lot with a quick set, a little bit of a drift in that seam. You see, going after that deep corner, but just misses. You have just got less than a split second to make a decision at this level. That ball's coming on you so fast. Dala now to serve. Ooh, what a cut that was. Well, it was outside the antenna. Oh, I say! Well, it's going to be Brazil's point because actually yeah. it was deemed that the ball was, was dug and it went back inside the antenna. And at which point, the moment that uh, it was touched by Christensen, that's it, rally over. You take a look at that replay, you see it pretty clearly. If that was outside the antenna, this would be a totally fine play. But because it crossed inside, he can't set that ball for the kill. I think Christensen said, but come on, it was such a good chase <laughs> It was down. beautiful. It come was on. a nice play. That's got to count for something. Yeah, right. Come on. <laughs> Darlan once again. Oh, I say, that was right in between the two players, but split second, they knew it was going long and let it go. Well, and it Very comes on you fast, but it has some side spin. He likes to hit the right side of that ball and get it to move a little bit, so it's very difficult to track. Another good ball in. Oh, got to play. Well done by the USA. Really nice job with the USA. Good touch on the block. Covered well, but this ball comes back at the USA on defense. Nice play here. Just keeping them in, up in rhythm there. And Ensing hitting that cross court. Bruno had to do really well with that. And so too did Ensing. A little bit tight, and it will be the USA who'll take the point. A nice read by Ensing. That triple block was in place in a good position, and he goes up for that. But there's that push just right into the block, shoved it into it, Russell did. There he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting for it. He sees it, but there's no block. And he's going up so high and hits that ball so hard, it's nearly impossible to dig. He almost got it, though, didn't he? It did. It's right in his lap. It's a really good comeback, this, from the USA. They were quite a way down, able to take a, um, a timeout and just sort themselves out. They're back to within a few points. And they might just get a little bit closer. 
Well, there was no swing for Ensing, and Russell did really well to get something on that. Advantage back to Brazil. They're able to take the point and just keep themselves at a decent amount of the lead. Well, that's going to be the key. If they can continue in transition, dig the ball, stay steady with what they're doing, and come back, hitting that ball over Mike Christensen right here, that's a tough matchup right now going high down the line. As saídas estão ótimas, tá? Só mais carinho no passo, principalmente os encaixados. Beleza? Continue queimando com a primeira bola. Estamos mano a mano nas pontas. E aí, confiança, galera. Vambora, tá bom? Sistema bom aqui defesa. Não tem isso aí, tá? Bora, confiança. Pediu ajuda. 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 the serve well it just seemed to get caught between wanting to put a I don't know whether to go hard or take it uh, soft and he's ended up with in between the two and a little bit of a gift that for the USA definitely that may have been a, a toss issue and then he had to change it up at the last minute well played Well played as well by Luca Rali. There is huge pressure coming from Brazil right now. Well, there's so much. You know, Isak's up there so high, and I think maybe this ball's going back to him. Of course, that holds David Smith there, and this touch just right over top of the block is going to get Jendrick. That's going to be a tough one for him to play. Oh, I say, brilliant. Well, we saw DeFalco put one to Spike Town, and that one was also joining from Aaron Russell. He's put a dent in the floor with this. You're going to see a lot of this on both sides. We talked about with Brazil on the one play earlier, and now that's the same thing with the USA, running that quick attack and then over the top with the Bic. Now, for those of you wondering what the Bic is, that's the, the backcourt quick, which the USA like to use a lot when they can, and so too Brazil. But that's an error from DeFalco. That's a tough miss. He, he saw that triple block in front of him. He, had, he, had, he ran out of room because he was inside the court, wanted to either go for a hand or in that deep corner and just missed that slide. Isaac. Isaac got touches. Smith thinks so. Flavio is not going to argue. Great play. Side out USA. Especially when that ball is passed to the right side of the court and you have both blockers there, you've got to hit high. Look for some hands there because both block are going to be right in front of you. Nice play by David Smith. DeFalco with the serve. Just knew that was going to be hit hard, but really good blocking. And very clever from Russell. Really clever play from him. Russell is the king of that. He's so good at missing up, mixing up his shots. Here's that play on the run. Still a fast set to the outside, and he catches the arm of Darlene. But look at this changeup right there on the outside. DeFalco once again. Oh, nice idea. Just uh, turned a little bit too much to that sideline. Uh, Darlan with his pre serve routine. Good chase, free ball for. Well, that's going to be coming back over. Of course, the first one was <laughs> too much beach volleyball. Wow, the block not counting to touch, but it's still 
a point here for Brazil. And the triple block comes in. He knows he has the inside of the court. That left front position is going to be open when Russell comes all the way in. A tight set, and he had some nowhere else to go. Good leave. Well, USA trying to make something happen. They're kind of closing the gap a little bit and then letting Brazil get away again. But certainly both teams now warmed into this match. Well, that's unlucky from Jendrick. He's across, but perhaps not quite quickly enough which is why it has the angle it has on it to go out. Has a good pass in Brazil, really moving the offense around. I like how the, the distribution, it's been left and right, really spreading the offense and putting a lot of pressure on the middle blockers of the USA. That's an easy lead for the USA, but they need something from Serb. Someone's got to try and put a bit of pressure on, so there's a change coming for the USA. Ensign's going to take a, a break. He's gone bye-bye-bye, and on comes uh, Kyle Russell, the Arego de Sete opposite. See what he's got. Good ball in from Tales. Oh, too easy. One-on-one, -on -one, Luca Rally is almost impossible to stop. Well, it's tough because he, he's got both shots. One-on-one, -on -one, Christensen dives hard in that cross court and leaves just a, a truckload of room down the line. And he doesn't have to thread it cleanly down the line. He just has to hit past him to get the skill. That one's just, just crept in front of the block. The block was holding. They know that back row attack is coming. So one blocker on the quick. Lucarelli's there. I think trying to wait on that back row attack. But DeFalco gets on it pretty fast before the block gets over. Oh, what a shame. It Kind of went into the bottom of the net, but the angle it went in at, it wouldn't come back out again. It just dissolved. Looks like it melted into the net. But this angle, it's so fast. Watch Bruno still runs that offense from way off the net. They have some speed to get on this ball quickly in the cross court. Oh, good set. Well, that time, DeFalco can't do what Russell did earlier on. And Dalam is not going to get beat by the same ball twice. And that's the trouble. When you run it really fast, sometimes if it drops and it's low, that block is going to just smother the, the attacker, and that's what happened right there. Time out called by the USA. Listen, we, we're getting you know, a bunch of opportunities. We just got to execute on a little bit of details here and there. A dig here, quality dig. Getting over you in a good spot against Darlin. Just kind of went low. Getting those opportunities. Just keep going, next point, side out, 17, get a real 18-20. You know, we're right back in this. Stay positive about this. Here we go, one more time. If you haven't done so already and you've not followed the volleyball before, there's a QR code you can scan, and then you can download the Volleyball World app, and then later on at the weekend, we're going to play a trivia game, and you can win prizes. Prizes that money can't buy. I like prizes. Yep, signed merch. We don't want to miss that. No. The, uh, that uh, QR code will come up at every technical timeout, so don't worry if you've missed it. It will come up again and come up during the week. That's unlucky from Tales. Read it well, but just couldn't get there quickly enough. Good swing from Ensing. These are the little things that Coach Bra was just talking about. We just need to execute. We have, we're in position to score. A very smart swing off the hand by, by Ensign, who's gotten better. He's a physical attacker, but, but now showing a lot of range as well. Garrett Nuagatutia coming in to serve. Oh, well played, Smith. Will it come back? Good chase by Ensing. Oh, that was a tough one. Russell's doing a massive 360 like he's stuck on a merry-go-round, but it still went over. And would you believe it? He's made another dig. 
Oh, and that is brilliant because Darlan, look at Riley, thought that if Bacos go and block out, he's having none of it. He got a free swing. My goodness. Well, Russell just stuck in there for us. He crushes that ball in the middle and the hands are pulled. And DeFalco just takes advantage of that. He's taking a chance. Lucarelli thinks he's going to get tooled. And he hits that ball straight down. What a brilliant save. What a brilliant rally. Just a low contact height from Wago Jutia. You could see it from where we're sitting, right behind him. Ball dropped, he couldn't get on top of it. That's a tough miss at this point in the game. Good touch. And a good touch by Bruno. Oh, good recovery, Mikey. Still, the rally is going. Oh, not anymore, though. Liao finishes it off. There's a little bit of banter through the net. DeFalco and Liao, a few smiles going on. And they know. They've done this before. This isn't their first rodeo, but these guys are just battling against one another, covering well, but it's the offense of Brazil hitting those high hands off the third blocker that shows up late. The smartest swing in the book on that play out, out of system. Well played. That's a free one. No, oh, I couldn't believe it. He had the whole line to pound the ball into Ensing. Might just not have quite been in the window for him to do it, though. It may have been just too far in front of him, and then he was trying to catch up with it, chop the ball across his body and miss that one. Again, those little plays have up little missed opportunities right now. <laughs> Challenge, then. We're going to see if it was in or out. He was a very extreme cross-court cut in the end. I'm actually looking for a block touch on that. OK. Block touch. Here we go. New touch. You can just see how much he's stretching for that, though, can't you? And wow. how high he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see a bolt from that angle. Great ball in under some serious pressure. Oh, that was a shame for Lucarali. And you want you want middle back to be deep when you have that triple block up there. So Lucarelli in a fine spot, goes deep. It just takes a weird spin off the block and he can't dive in the court to chase it down. Fans really enjoying the volleyball right now. A little bit of perspiration needs to be cleared up from Lucarelli's dive. Christensen ready to serve. There's no going past that block. Triple block in place. You take a look at this swing. Leal wants to go hard after this ball. He's not going hands, not trying to go flat into the air. Swings right into the belly of that big block. Time I called by Brazil. Hey, okay. Vamos dar o estímulo na bola alta. Três, três, três. Precisa de confiança, irmão. Solta lá na ponta do esquerdo, tá? Vamos lá, vamos lá. Da... Agora, se preocupar primeiro com o passe, tá? Vamos lá. Vamos lá, vamos lá. Vamos dar essa, tá? Vamos nessa, tá? Se preocupar com o passe, vamos. Viva a variação. A variação do Christian. Você tá, Léo? Tá, ele esquentando antes. How's your Portuguese? Not very good. Okay, neither's mine. <laughs> but it looked like he was saying, hey, gotta go after some hands here. You know, at least he's motioning some of that. Christensen to serve again. 
right to where Lucarali was waiting, but what a commit by Smith, and what a pick-up by Tales. Absolutely wonderful. And it brings up set point for Brazil. Incredible volleyball. So many good plays that rally. The dive of Smith and then the pickup by Tales. That created that whole opportunity for Brazil. Fernando on to serve. Oh, good set. Good up. Swing chance here for Liao for the set. Oh, yes! Way to take it! <laughs> there were three blockers there. Were there three not, blockers there? He's not hitting hands on that one. Oh, he's going as hard as he can. Well, what a way to take block. Of course, they count on a couple of key players, but very efficient for what they were doing offensively. And the USA, again, making some little mistakes here and there. They had opportunities, had some swings. Those small mistakes make the difference. Used to coach Argentina, Javier Weber. Now involved with the USA program. And for uh, the team right now, as if Alka could probably use a few more points. Interesting, they've got some wine gums. Oh, I like a wine gum. Oh, you can see that. That's that mix of, uh, I guess, a bit of, uh, bit of sugar, a bit of slow release as well. It's all good. Yeah, it helps. They have something in the UK called Jaffa Cakes, oh. which are uh, like, a, like a sponge, yep. a little bit of chocolate, a little oh. bit of uh, jelly filling, and the same thing, uh, uh, like having a banana, really, with a yeah. bit of sugar on, so slow release energy, that uh, a little bit of quick, a little bit of slow to get you through and keep your energy levels up. Sustained level of energy, yeah. I'd like to try one of those cakes. I will bring some next time. <laughs> now we'll look at the rotation. It looks like USA moved. They started in rotation four in the last last set. Now you see Micah Christensen starting in the serving position. So we'll see if the matchup change helps them a little bit. Brazil again in row six. Nice way to start the second set. Smith getting up and across. So fast, so quick laterally, gets all the way there to close the block. It's coming from far away. Watch where the ball's passed. It's off the net, but he still recovers all the way from the left side of the court. Well, however, Brazil straight back to business. And Bruno able to run that offense. He has the quick attack coming in. See, DeFalco pushes all the way down to get the quick attack, but they're still able to score out of the back row. Excellent. We're going to see, just see that I love, I, <laughs> I love the pipe attacks, the big attacks, because you can just really go right into the heart of the opposition defense. Well, there's, you just create so much space with the block. I mean, look at Isaac. He's up there trying to jump with the quick attack. You can't recover when you have that many attackers coming at you all at once. Good up by Russell. Oh, well up by Liao. Free ball here, though, for the USA. And a super turn from Smith. USA with a nice, nice start. You know, the first dig into that hard cross court by Russell made this happen. And here's that dig by Liao keeping it alive. A free ball opportunity. And Smith sees that block right in front of him. Quick cuts that back behind the block. Touch. That might stay in play, you know. Liao's onto it. Ooh, but there's a free ball here for the USA. Four attacking options. Oh, oh just go to the middle. Let Smith do it. Wow. Really doing a nice job offensively, but forcing some things from Brazil. And that's that's what's happening. Forcing the ball off the net, getting a free ball back. USA definitely coming out with a, a different mentality and a lot more sense of urgency in the second set. But it's such a good start, isn't it, considering how the, the first set panned out to get to 4-2 and let Brazil know that they are here to play.
great ball in. But a really good block from Darlan to slow that down. And then, you know what? Oh, the, the pace and power that Liao puts on that, even when that, it got, it got slowed he's down. There. I know, he's there. He's but there. no one's going to get no, it. No, there's, it's impossible. There's so much pace on the ball, it's going to go so far out of bounds. Ensign goes up, but Liao hits that ball with so much speed, it just goes too far. Oh, Shoji, that's amazing. And so is that. Christensen knows that Smith is hot and he is feeding him. Well, he's up, he's available, he's always ready. We talked about that earlier on in the beginning of the match. David Smith is a leader. This is what he does. He leads by example. He's always up and available and so quick to the ball. Good ball in. And a great block. Tales handed that ball really well. Pass, put Brazil in a good position. And here's that ball to the outside. Big block, it's closed. Look at Jendrick, all the way hip to hip with Enzing. No room to go around this block. Chance here for the USA to extend their lead. Oh, well played. Really good touch that from Luca Rally. Oh, great up. What? what a scrambled rally this is. What happened? It's <laughs> everybody flying everywhere. <laughs> well, it started with the back bump set by Bruno. This one that was tight, and there was that push at the net. I think there was some question was someone in the net? Then did somebody lift the ball on that play? But a finish for Brazil. Yeah. Isaac with the serve. Oh, goodness, massive hit, but great linking in. But you know what, there's a better chance here. Oh, unfortunately, yes, it was a set from uh, Shoji in the front row, yeah. and as a result of that... Yeah, he was in front of the 10-foot line when he set this ball, which is not legal. So that is why the referee made that call. If he was behind that three-meter line setting that ball with his hands, then that would be legal play. As that goes back to serve. Oh, Well-handled pass going straight to the outside. A nice dig by Brazil. Let's see what he can do with this tight set. That's a free ball in. And a quick attack. The middle attack has been key for the USA. Keep running the middle attack. Putting some pressure again on Brazil. Relying less on the outsides, and now, really, they're gonna have to, have to make some big adjustments. Gentrick there on the quick. Ensign to serve. Yes, what a serve that is. An ace from Ensign. Right into the corridor of uncertainty. There it is. I've been waiting for it. He's got such a heavy hand. And look at that ball. There's no topspin on that thing. He's jump serving it, but it's got float. It's got side spin. It's got every spin except topspin. And that's why you can get the ace. that you play at, serving is the key component to success. 
And if you can serve tough, then you've got a good chance of making your uh, a point for your team, or at least getting the other team in trouble. A little bit of a breather for Ensign doesn't serve him well, so that forces the ball into the net. Great pick up from Thales. Held his ground, kept his body position in the right place. But they can't do it again. And the USA take the point. And now Brazil missing some opportunities. Thales digs that ball. All this needed to be was a high set to the outside to control it. But USA again receives another free ball, running the middle attack. Very efficient out of the middle. Nice adjustment by the USA. Russell once more. And there's touches from Darlan. And so Brazil will have the point. When you talked about it, he's so physical and so high. He's going to hit a block. If he's going up out of the back row, and that block is there in his face, even if he's not going for the hands, he's going to hit them on the way down. Just keeps going up and up and up, doesn't he? 3 meters 63 Darlan touches, higher than any other player on the team for Brazil. Excellent by Lucarali and Renan Del Sosso loving that because Brazil are now back to within a point. Well, they got to get something going here, and this ball's inside, but look at his feet. That step flows right to that ball, and then he cuts it, drops the thumb, hits it inside the block, watch his hands dropping inside that block. Easy one that for Leal, and then, goodness me, Flavio right over the top. On well, Brazil, if they can pass and get this ball going through the middle as well, that's what they're going to have success. You see, there's no back row attack coming out of the middle of the court for Brazil. Mentales handling the ball so well, playing fantastic defense for Brazil. Oh, too easy for Ensing that time. Made a really good adjustment. <laughs> No way, there's not going to be stopped. And there's that swing down the line. That won't come back. Keeping it going. USA definitely feeling it here. Right now, playing some excellent defense. Christensen setting that, that side set to the middle again. Really forcing the middle to run way more than the outsides than they did in the first set. Hey, on the three-man blocks, particularly on the three-man blocks. Obviously, we're open right now, but they're just hitting this quite a bit. Third guy, left hand. Third guy, left hand. Make sure you lead with the inside hand on that. They're really doing a lot of sharps. Okay, let's see if we can get them on one. Okay, right, good work, good work. Sometimes it just has to be that. It just literally, it, it, what he's talking about is when they're getting the triple blockers up, as we saw, Leal and Lucarelli still able to just get the cross court. And he said, yeah. the third guy, get your arms across the it. It's the left hand. They have to act as though they're a middle blocker. They have to think with independent hands. I'm in that seam, and then I'm dropping hard into that angle to stop it from going across the plane of the net. Somebody on social, and if you want to get on social, hashtag be part of the game. You can check out what's going on. Go to Ad Volleyball World across all the platforms. What a great ball in. Oh, the speed of that play. DeFalco is on the way up hitting that. That's quality. The whole play, the block slows down. Perfect pass, and that middle attack has been used so much. Isaac has to commit. He has to be in a full commit block. So Falco beats the block on that swing. That is out of here. <laughs> here we go. Lucas is in. 
He's also uh, he's coming back from a bit of an injury. He missed all of the last week of the VNL, but is required. Nice touch. And the spread block not working. Russell takes the point. Nice block touch, and here's the back row attack. One blocker up. Lucas is up there. He has to try and take both angles, but it's all you can do when you're alone. That was a tricky one to deal with. Oh, goodness. Uh, there was line to go out. I thought he was going to hit the line, and then no, he just stayed there, leaned a little bit more. You know what? Why not? He crushes it. Why not? I'll hit this oh. angle. I have it. I see it. You see Smith. Smith holds a little bit, but he's not fully in a commit, but he can't get there in time. That's why he has so much room to work with. It's a good ball in. I've got to love that because Christensen is getting Lucas to run one way, then the other. He can't close the gap, and that's just the merest gap he needs, DeFalco. That's what you have to do when you're running forward. If you can run in that opposite direction and put some stress on him right now, fresh in the game with that, coming back from that injury. High and wide for Darlan, and he makes sure of it. Darlan going up. Almost over the top, but watch, you'll see Smith here. He needs that left. Oh, it's right in the middle of the block. It wasn't closed in the middle of that block. And Smith says that's his bad, but that's Darlan just going, <laughs> doing what he does. Luca Rally now to serve. Quality from Shoji. But well, that's a great commit from Lucas. And now Brazil have got a chance. Ooh, maybe is maybe, it's maybe Bruno said it's Bruno said it's right. <laughs> That's right leave it alone <laughs> yeah let the ball fly what a great pick up the Falco oh and Lucarali that is not going to make it back and it's great to see a work going oh might have been a double and I'm sure those of you at home going oh maybe it's a double but USA just played to the whistle you got you have to keep going because you know if that whistle doesn't blow and it's they're going to let things go I mean this is the highest level of volleyball I mean that's not putting them at a disadvantage there's that high swing from Russell, so smart, seeing the block, and Lucarelli knows he had his chance to play that ball. That's well played. There is some fire from Darlan right now, trying to get his team going. Crushing the ball on the right side, and it's the excitement and the emotion afterward where he is just trying to rally his team as best he can right now. Didn't quite happen for Lucas. The thing about Darlan, and for those of you that, that play your volleyball, and those of you that you know you're developing your jump and you're getting above the height of the net and you're hitting the ball, and then to see Darlan not just hit the ball, but he's hitting it, and then he's watching it hit the floor, still above the height of the net. That's right, and he's looking at you on the way down, <laughs> watching everyone on the floor, yes. still on his way down. Oh! Nice, nice from Tifalka, because he knows he'll be doing it back to Lucarelli. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. I've set him right now, but Lucarelli, and you see right after the play, he kind of gives him a, I didn't mean it, you know, hey, you okay? Right on Tifalka's shoulder, but there's that back row attack right over the top of Bruno. Back sets this ball, really pulls the block to the right to get that open set. That's well played, Tifalka. He's nearly caught out by that. And then there was no Eferensing to go. Very good blocking. And in part, Liao helping to uh, line that up for Flavio. Excellent block. And watch the move. It's coming all the way across. He knows it's coming across the court. Gets fully set, locked out before Ensing even has a chance to swing at the ball. That's down before it even began. Darlan to serve. Nice easy one that time. And uh, as a result, Brazil get punished. That's the trouble, isn't it? At this level, you can't you can't give easy serves. You can't. You can't. That's why you see so many missed serves. They have to go after it. You serve it nice and easy. Quick attack or a back row attack, you're going to get burned. Russell looking for a little bit of hustle here from the serving line. <laughs> well up by Tales. Good play. Oh, that was unlucky. Well, 
Ensign ran one way, then he had ran back the other, and then he put the ball back the other way. <laughs> There's a lot of action going on there. Russell with a, a beautiful play off the block. And Ensign trying to make a, a play here. Sees that he has some line and just makes a, a tough, tough error. Still, though, USA in front by three. It's Brazil who are having to chase. God, I tell you what. <laughs> We're sat end on here, the same which is behind DeFalco. And the speed of that ball, it's hit the net, and DeFalco, none of us have moved. No. And literally, if that had gone down the line, DeFalco might just have moved another eye. <laughs> and that'd have been it. It was coming so Ooh. fast. Right, coming on to court to serve now for the USA. It's another Russell. It's Kyle Russell. That's brilliant. Here's the play. Watch Bruno back set this ball right in Russell's lap, but couldn't control it. Giselle getting some, some offense going. And this is close. USA has had the lead, but there's an opportunity here for Brazil. Rodriguinho is on to court, but he doesn't make a touch in the back row, number 11. Again, establishing that middle early for the USA, then running that fast offense to the pins. A little more pressure there, and that one just gets between Bruno's hands. Good up. He's not really passing at this level with those serves, it's defending. And for once, the pressure from the block doing its job for the USA. There was no angle cross court. No, he didn't have it. That ball was a little bit wider, and that block set ran out of room. He wasn't able to get on top of it like he normally does, and that's why he hit it wide. Os outros passaram, quebrando o nosso passe, vindo forte ali. Vamos sustentar, vamos sustentar, saber jogar com essas bolas, tá? Paciência, galera. Paciência, dá bola pro gol. Tá? Prioridade meio em conta, mais do que nunca, tá? Prioridade um, meio em conta. Bora. Christensen. Darlan up, up and away. And that's their hot hand right now. They're going to keep feeding him. He's got the energy, he's got the fire, stretching the block here. Smith almost gets there in time, but Darlan just continues to tee off right now for Brazil. Let's see if he can carry them to cross the finish line here in this set. Bruno with the serve. Oh, that's close. But I don't think he's made it. He doesn't know, not sure. We're going to challenge. We'll find out. We'll put Hawkeye to the test. He was looking to go hard there at Russell down the, down the sideline. We'll see if he caught the line at all. I didn't laugh then, sorry. Yeah. I just, I, well, you know, this is a really interesting point, um, and it's something that I was chatting with the, the referee, Andrea Picard, um, and we are talking about that when there's no lines judge, yep. the ball can be out by a fraction, and if we'd have seen it out by a fraction, we'd have gone, ooh. Right. But because it goes so fast, it's even if it's out by that far, it goes so quick, you don't see it. If you don't see it, no. you're not sure, you just don't see it. You just don't see it. It's, it's very difficult. It comes so fast, like you said. No line judge makes it very difficult, so you have to, you have to challenge all of those. Those plays. Lucas back into the front row with Darlan and Liao. 
But it's looking good for the USA here. They only need three points to level up this match at one set all. Oh, wow. Yes, what a pickup. And now it's Brazil with a bit of work to do. Oh, you're kidding me. How on earth did Leo <laughs> find that line? Unbelievable. He sees that play, but it started with the USA making that first play out of the net. Here's that push by Russell, but ball's inside. He sees just a sliver and just chops it. Doesn't even hit it hard, but sees that area of the court open. So good. No, oh, yeah, Brennan's like, yeah, but he pushed it in the net and then carried it up, pushed it over. There's a lot That's going right. on. He can, he can joust with the net first. As, as long as you want. Do whatever you want. He got there in the end. <laughs> So Brazil looking to bring more heat from the serving line. Lucarali once again. On to Shoji. Oh, well played. That's that little roller and Darlan wasn't too sure what to do with it. That's really smart by Ensing. Taking something off of it, the ball pushes Christensen all the way to the right, just chops it. And you see the left front, right front, Defense comes all the way under, and he's in there too fast. We're getting some slice and dice yep. from both sides at the moment. Two points required now for the USA. Ooh, there we go, a little bit of a, a float. I think he was running out of time. I don't know what happened. The shot clock was coming down, he had to serve. Oh, I don't know why he's done that. Yeah. Well, we'll never know, will we? Well, he's they're having a conversation with the referee right now. It was, it was a signal also. I understand, but you can watch for him because... Yes, I watched. That, okay? All were ready to play. Everybody can hear it. Well, it's Brazil's point. They got the side yeah. out. We'll, uh, some more to come on that later, maybe. Oh, good ball. Very good serve. Very good pass. Darlan got a very close view of that. And so too, Jendrick still going. Oh, well played uh, by Ensing, but he's now out of the rally. So now there's a chance here. And it goes to Leal, who just put so much heat on it. <laughs> Such good volleyball on both sides. Great block touches and covering, keeping the ball alive. Well, a chicken wing from Isaac. Yeah. You need one of those in a long rally, for sure, that's required. And here he is again, finding the block, fading away from it, seeing it, ending up on his back. Brazil fired up, making a push here towards the end of the set. This is not an easy side-out opportunity. But there are three attacking options in the front row for the US. Oh, they won't even need them. A gift. And that makes things a lot easier now for the USA. 24-21. That's tough. And like you said, all three attackers and the back row attack. Got to go after it. Ensign. He was a little in front of him. Too far in front of him in the end. A little in front, a little low. <laughs> the result. So, on comes Fernando Cachopa, as he's known, which means the kid. I like it. Let's see if he's going to uh, deliver something from the serving line. The answer is no, Russell gets the ball, he puts it off the block, USA take the set, 25-22, and it is one set all here in Bologna in this men's quarter-final. Well, it was a big difference in set two for the USA, and they started off strong, running the ball out of the middle of the court. That was the biggest difference, passing well, getting the middle attack going. Well, we've definitely got a game on here now, that's for sure. Fans can stretch their legs for a moment. And 
certainly even with USA in control of that set, Brazil was right there. This isn't, this is anyone's match at this point. Statistically speaking, Brazil, one more error, not much in it in attacks. It was hardly anything, it was a very close set. It was really close, it's just USA had more kills than they did the first set. They were really low in the attacking and kill percentage. Spike velocity, those above 100 kilometers and those below. And that's the USA and where they're putting the ball, hitting it hard in the middle of the court. Oh, well, there you go. That's a massive difference, isn't it, from set one to set two? Completely different. So we'll look at where, where it is and where they land in relation to the court. Uh, getting ready, they were waiting for the second quarterfinal to come, enjoying what for them might be the, the, the appetizer here as uh, Italy take on the Netherlands later. And that's going to be another another battle again. These these teams are just fighting to stay alive. This is it. Quarterfinals battling their way into the semis. Brazil, of course, who won the VNL last year. Hoping for a repeat in USA playing so much better than they did in the last VNL and having a lot of success. This is a, a huge match, one of the biggest everyone's been waiting to see. Here's some of the uh, the slow mos, some of the moments, and now they've gone, they do go in a blink of an eye. Yes. <laughs> and then yeah, we can hear from John Squirrel with Key Michael. <laughs> Coach, it's always exciting when USA is playing Brazil. Can you give us a little bit of mindset of what you guys are thinking when you step out on court against them? Oh, well, that, it's always a great battle, just like you said. We've had so many over the years. Uh, a lot of respect. We know that they play great volleyball. Uh, right now, we're just excited to be back in the finals and have a chance and obviously play a little bit better in that second set to even it up. So uh, I think we can play a much better volleyball. I mean, we're one and one right now, and I still think we can improve quite a bit. Well, thanks so much for letting us inside a little bit. Good luck in the next set. Thank you very much. All right, we'll head up. Awesome. Great to hear. And it's just so cool to be inside the ropes with our roving reporter, Key Michael. It's awesome. Just getting down there, asking those questions, getting a, a feel for the coaches and, and what it's like. Dr. Ali Grasser is uh, getting involved and enjoying the volleyball. As two are the fans. But let's hear from Ren and Del Sotto with Key. All right, coach, in Italiano, cosa funziona in questo set? Cosa funzionato? Ok, eh, nel primo set abbiamo battuto molto bene, abbiamo fatto il sistema muro difesa molto bene. Secondo set, USA ha battuto molto bene, ha fatto il muro difesa molto bene. Adesso questo terzo set è tutto aperto, dobbiamo iniziare a spingere la battuta perché loro sono molto veloci con la palla in mano. Grazie mille. Prego. He said first set, they served well and blocked well. Second set, USA served well and blocked well, so it's all open in the third. Let's see. Back to you guys. Thanks very much for that, Key. That's brilliant. That's uh, Chica. Grab it, let's have a chat with a Brazilian <laughs> in Italian and then bring it back to English. Phenomenal! It's unbelievable. That's why she's the best. She is the best. And we're witnessing some of the best volleyball. He's absolutely right, though. It was really a battle of this. They serve better, yeah. we serve better. That's now, it. <laughs> we'll try and ser act serve each other again now for this next set. See if they... They move a little bit again. That matchup was, was good for, for the USA. And interesting, the USA have got Kyle Russell on court 
in the opposite slot. So Kyle Ensing has gone bye 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 for the moment. Set three underway. Brazil with the serve. Ooh, well played, Smith. Freebie for Russell and a brilliant way to get in to the set. Got to get it started, and that's how they're going to do it. They knew what they were doing, and they put him in the game. So Russell there hitting that ball down the line. A nice job and a nice start by him. Christensen. Well left by Liao. Not quite for Lucas. Well, you did see that Brazil did change a little bit of the rotation, trying to tick a little bit to match up with, with the USA starting in, in a different rotation in row six this, this set. Plenty of swerve on that one. And plenty of heat on that one. A perfect pass in. You heard it earlier. That's what they need to do. Pass the ball well. Get the middle attack going up. Get Smith to jump. And Lucarelli coming in hot from the back row. Darlan with the serve. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, I think Christensen oh, shouted, next off! <laughs> well, you can't even, I mean, do anything oh. with it. He hits this ball so hard and fast. Out of the back row, out of the front row, man. It's just, I, I can hit harder than you going on right now. Is there anything you can do, I can hit harder. That was, I forget the serve from Smith. That, that is the hardest swing I've seen yet yeah. from DeFalco in, in this match from anybody. Excellent. Well, both teams are going at each other pretty ferociously, as we would expect, but no one getting away from each other at the moment. Liao. Lovely ball in, Shoji. Uh, Bruno full stretch doesn't get to it, can't stop it. And side out for the US to bring us level. Passing well, but you watch this one on one swing. Leal's there, and Talis cuts in front of him. So now that ball is shanked, and they can't chase it down. Russell with the serve. Perfect ball in for Bruno. That is off the knee. And unfortunately, no one can get to it. Oh, now Brazil looking at their middle attack and watch him find the gap here, right in between. Jendrick holds tight, but they have to find some room to play with and a nice set, perfectly executed play. Good set. Under some extreme pressure. Okay, so it's the one-handed setting show. Oh my, yes it is, back and forth. You said it, anything you can do, it can do better. I don't know what the problem was, really. That was a great play and a nice set by Bruno. Well, we definitely have, without question, two of the greatest setters of a generation going at it with the, against each other here. Without question. Good art by Flavio. Do you know what, when your middle blockers make those digs, they're as good as two points, right? That's, a, that's all you want them to do, just hang in there and take it. Flavio, that's a huge dig at this point right now. That's why they're able to transition here. Leal going high off the hand. Hey, the first set went like this. 
We had eight opportunities to score, only converted two. So we're going to get more opportunities. Let's make sure we just get, let's convert when we get our opportunities here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Talking about opportunities that they need to convert. And Sprawl, that's the key to everything. They have chances. When you have those chances, you have to take advantage of it. When we came into the timeout, you kind of heard him talking a little bit about take the setter out if you don't have a perfect swing. Smart with that, so create something on the other side, coming back worse. Nice ball in from DeFalco. Plenty of options. One of them, Russell. And he's had a solid start. Very good player going high, deep into that corner. Sees that well. He's got excellent control over his hand. I mean, watch the defense as it develops. They come into the court, and he sees that back area deep into the court, sharp into the angle. Well, that's the telepathic link between Bruno and Lucas. They've been playing together since they were children. The connection has been so good, and they, they see each other so well. You'll see him run that back one when he's running forward. Lucas always available. He knows exactly where he is. Oh, <laughs> God, sorry. I, I don't want to have laughing. I just, that is incredible. I mean, he's got a cannon. Look how quickly he swings on this ball. We talked about that before. He's got to get on this ball fast. It's coming out there quick. Can't let the block develop. But man, DeVolco's, DeVolco's arm has been just on fire the entire VNL. Oh, well played. And equally great skills from DeFalco. One foot Yahoo, and it's gone. <laughs> oh. DeFalco knows every once in a while it gets away from him. He wants to do something a little too much. The impulse of youth. Yeah. Or well, the impulsiveness. Well played. Christiansen with his running spikes on. Darlan. I think the, the issue with Smith, Smith's a world-class blocker, but he's a little bit old. I'd say old school, dare I say, he goes up and he doesn't look. So when someone's hitting that high, sure. it's difficult to know where you're going to press and what you're going to take. Well, that's hard. Yeah, you have, to, you have to take a look at this, but watch Smith's hand, his left hand. It's up there, but he catches the back side of that left hand. Yes. Yes. And that's why he gets it to go Only outside. Only one out until out. 12. Only one until 12. Please, David, come. They have to take care about this because next time I should issue a delay warning. I should issue a delay warning if it happens next time. Yes, I am. But after 12 in seconds. All right, then let's get that. Yes. Said after the sec after that happens again, he would issue a delay, but not not on that that time. Nice. Russell Russell's been a really nice addition this this set, moving the ball all the way around. You saw that last swing he had in that into the deep corner. This one going down the line, just a lot of range. Oh, that's a tricky one. A lot of float on that. And then just hammered away by Lucas. There's that back one. They don't even need to know. He's there. Lucas up and available. Bruno finds him. See how he leads him to the net a little bit. Sets that ball over his shoulder, right in the sweet spot. Nice little step in on that by DeFalco. And they're always a winner. Uh, they're te that's technically known, for those of you new, is, as a sclaff. Uh, the, the, the paintbrush. <laughs> the, the, the paint brush. spin. Yes. Look at it. That's that, exactly that, it. No chance of getting that. No, that's a miss hit. Ball is set a little bit too high and slow out of his reach, and that's why it, that's why it fell. But classically, though, coach is like, come on, you should get that. Right. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> no. They <laughs> <It> shouldn't. <laughs> Oh, yes, DeFalco, that had a swerve, like literally like a fastball in baseball. You could see it right from behind, and it skips off the arms of Lucarelli. That looks like that, that'll leave a mark. Here it comes, the 
spin on that coming right to left. Timeout called by Brazil. Trying to take the heat out of that. What a surf from DeFalco. So you can see the app, it's there once again, it's going to be there every technical timeout. Uh, all week, so if you see the app, see the QR code, scan it, download the app, and we're going to play a trivia game at the weekend. DeFalco now. That time, just plenty of heat. Well, that Liao thinks that has caught the block, so they're going to challenge. It may have. I thought maybe... It caught the pinky, the right pinky of Russell. Which is absolutely no chance for any referee in the no. world to see no. in real time. And certainly not the up ref from over there, no line judges. I don't, well look, I'm twisted where the line judge would be, I didn't see that. I know, I, I, yeah. I can't <laughs> see anything, but I thought I saw it, <laughs> so we'll see. We're sharing your glasses, of course we can't see anything. Those are my reading glasses, leave me alone. Oh. <laughs> so that's the team, you'll have to forgive me, but the, uh, the Italian, um, under 19s, under 23s, it did catch the, the pinky, pinky, didn't it? There it is. Very good spot. So it will be Brazil's point. You see Russell telling them, so they weren't sure, and he's saying, yeah, I got it. So the, the uh, really good weekend of volleyball last weekend for, for Italy, the under-18 men won the European Championships, and the under-22 men won the European Championships, and the under-21 women won the European Championships, and Italy women won the VNL. And so those, we just saw a shot of the boys from one of those teams watching on. They have been playing so well, their entire federation is number one coming into the tournament. So this is, this is really a push for, for Italy playing so well. A lot of young talent. All of whom are watching this and thinking, oh, I'd like to be like Darlan, I'd like to be, they'll all have their favorite players from around the world, not just the players from their own countries as well. Mikey on for some defense. Russell in to add a little bit of offense for the USA. He's doing a good job so far. Excellent ball in. Lovely, lovely. Right in that gap between Flavio and Liao. And just so fast. Again, you need to full commit block on this in order to even slow it down. But the block's still on the ground when Smith gets off. Smith, a former UC Irvine. Alumni left there in 07, had a very good career as a pro volleyballer. Oh, I say, oh. Flavio, he's like, that, that made my shoulder hurt oh. watching that. That was sick. Flavio up, sees the block in front of him, watch him turn his thumb down to hit past the block of Jendrick. Wow, what an attack. Oh, do you know what? It's getting quicker and quicker and quicker now. So much so that Luca Ali's jumped on the first tempo, and he was still in the air to get a touch on that. <laughs> That's how it works. They're up and ready. Look how fast. This is why you call it that that big attack, that back row quick, because it's coming the same speed as a quick attack. That's why it's so fast and so hard to defend. Kyle Russell. Mustache twins with Aaron. It's a 
a good look. I think Tom Selleck's was the best. <laughs> Indeed. Honorary uh, captain of the USA men's volleyball team. Absolutely. I'm sure you're watching this and enjoying it. And right now, though, Brazil enjoying the lead they have here in set three. Middle is having a, a very good match. Good set so far. Flavio again, set him. Why not? He can score one on one. He's going to put the ball down. Certainly, both setters are using all the tools in their toolbox to find the right solutions. Easy one for Haas, but not so easy for Lucarali. Great blocking by Christensen and Jendrick. Micah wants that one. He's like, I got, I got that. I dropped into that angle. That's my block. <laughs> don't, don't try to take it from me. Nice stopping short there. Strong with that left hand. Well, well played, Lucas. They're still bobbling around, and that one will land in, and it will be Brazil's point. Scrapping and keeping it alive, that's what you have to do. The ball's chaotic when everything's a little bit crazy. You've got to be smart with what you're doing. Lucas just flings that behind his head. Just like that, USA are back to within one. Jendrick will now serve. Oh, that's unlucky. Really good reach back inside from DeFalco. Almost had it. Here's that angle coming at you hard and fast. He didn't finish in time. Right hand. Dave moves past the ball. The the hitter actually floats a little bit past him. That's why he's able to score. Mikarali coming over the screen. That's uh, not a screen because he's contacting the ball above the height of the net. Good touch by Darlan. Oh, what a block by Smith. Incredible. They all went after it. He was going harder than that angle. Smith showed up. Here's that play from Brazil, keeping them all alive. Smith is there and strong with that left hand. That's what you heard Coach Frost saying. We got to take out, take care of those sharp angles. Oh, serve from Christensen. He got a slider in with that one. That's incredible. It's just moved so far. It's a quick swing. Look at that action from the left side of the court to the right. And Lucarelli can't cut it off. If it catches his right arm, it's going to go out into the stands. Christensen once again. That time trying to find the corner of uncertainty. He didn't. And it's Brazil that find the point and stay in front. Darlan, one on one. Bruno creates this opportunity for him. And watch DeFalco try to make that move again. Darlan with the winner. Lucas. All the energy taken out of that. And then hammered away by Smith. Well, that's the. You can serve as tough as you like. You get a great ball in, and then you can run what you like. On a perfect pass in. Everyone has to take off. The swing blockers have the responsibilities. Smith up and available. To Falco. Cheeky little floater, which is going to get punished. <laughs> <laughs> Salima's rocking around in her chair here. What's that point going? I think Christensen's hurt himself yeah. diving for that. Oh, do you know it might have caught his elbow? But it's never funny when you catch your no. funny bone, is it? No, it's not. Oh, that may have been his lower back a Ooh. little bit. Yeah. 
Slammed it pretty good. Well, he's up and around now. He'll shrug it off. Massive serve. Brought back. It was outside the antenna. Free ball for Brazil. Oh, well, they're looking for touches. It's been given us out. Did Smith get it? He's gone back to serve. He's having none of it. Did Russell get it then? He's got a really good poker face, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Smith is just going after the ball right now. It was a quick call, though. <laughs> Smith's uh, admitted to it now. He? Yes. Yeah. He's looking at the race on the ref. Yeah, I touched it. <laughs> but the refs, I don't think he's... Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. There it is. But he went right back to he serve, didn't he? hit me the ball. Yeah. <laughs> 18 <laughs> for Brazil now, then 17 USA. 19, in fact, because they get the point back. So a little bit of a gap opening up here for Brazil. Darlan with the serve. That one thrown a little bit too far in front. <laughs> It'll be Smith to serve now. Oh, even in the way, Smith <laughs> could do nothing about that. Yeah, Leal's going to go hard in that cross court anyway, but we've got, you've got your middle blocker back there. He can play defense, but it's hard to handle this, this heat coming at you, no matter who you are from Leal. And, and Leal's not a player that wants to hit it inside the three-meter line. No. He, he's hitting that kind of power into the far corners. He likes to hit that ball deep. Great ball in. Oh, brilliant. Oh. Absolutely brilliant. Russell just handling that pass. Such a phenomenal passer, perfect ball. You see the slight bit of hesitation from Flavio. That's where the middle opened up. That ball went really high here in Bologna, and I just got to imagine all the all the young junior setters watch that go. There's no way I bonded that. No way. <laughs> please don't double. Please don't double. Yes. Please don't double. <laughs> Excellent. Bruno and and Christensen very similar in their style. It's their shoulders are used so much to move the ball. They do. They they're stiff with what they're doing, and they just let it go with their hands. With this middle attack, Brazil now handling the ball so well, passing well enough for Bruno to run whatever he wants on offense. Kachopas come back in. Bit of serving for him. Interesting. They keep Bruno at the net. There is the option to bring in. A, a tall blocker and let uh, Fernando just run his magic and do some setting from the back row. Because there's a good mismatch that Russell exploits going over Bruno. It's tough. I mean, that's a, that's a tough play. But Bruno's been running such an efficient offense and they've been serving tough enough to get the USA off the net. As Lucarelli is saying, hey, I don't know if I'm going to play that ball. I'm inside the 10-foot line. Good ball in. Even off the net like that, there's still options. But now the USA, though, have got a chance. A real chance. And they take it with Russell. Starting with that serve, if you can get your outside hitter on the floor and he has force to tip and you get the ball back, there's the swing. Lucas doesn't completely get there. And a nice high swing off the block. Nice, lots of movement. And somehow it's kept off the floor. And again, what a great pickup. Gendry. But it looks like now maybe it will be the USA. They have the advantage. Perfect pass. And what a finish, even with Jendrick committing. Not yet, not yet. Brazil says not yet. There's that connection, Lucas, with that long arm swing. He's got such a big hand, long swing. It's not traditional. You see most of the middles with a quick swing. He just gets on it hard and fast. Oh. 
Excellent. Very fast play. So fast to the pin. Well, watch the speed of this. Christensen backs up all the way across the court, still flings it out there so fast to beat the block. And a smart swing by DeFalco in that deep corner. Margot Tatia gets it in, but he can't get it up. I mean, that just that hits him dead on. Not in position. The ball's coming so fast, he just turns and stands there, but that ball's coming deep. He wants it to land in his lap, but he can't get out of the way. We get to 24-24. For those of you wondering, we just keep going until someone gets too clear. If USA can side this out, they'll get a set point chance, which they are going to have. A miss hit from Lucarali. Lucarali definitely wanted to go for it there again. Can't give a free point. I'll see if Christensen mixes it up or rips his jumper. He might go with that floater straight down the line at Leal. Yeah, yeah Leal front court swing, so carry a little bit of the load Let's see where it goes set ball for the USA oh, he's put it right onto Hoss but it's into transition there's a swing chance here for DeFalco and he's done it he's forced it down and the USA take the point and with it the set they lead Brazil by two sets to one what a comeback for them in that second set. Brazil in control early on. It was a battle the entire way, but USA crept back over and over again, kept going. And this tight set, they've been really good at the net with the joust and pushing the ball through the block. It looks like they've trained it a ton, but DeFalco just so strong, gets this ball last and wins the joust for the set. The, well, he's gone off to play some beach. And he's leaping out of the court there as well. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it looks like he's on indoor playing in the sand. And Russ has done a great job coming in and just quietly going about the business of putting away every point, he, every every ball he was given. Yep. Yep. And you look at the stats: Brazil in the lead with the kills, but it was those couple of blocks, a couple of aces from the USA that made the difference. It's, it's not always. This is what you're doing offensively. That's, there's so much more involved. This is where the USA was serving. Nice to see where that ball went. That was uh, the ace. That was the one yep. from DeFalco. Yep. That the one from DeFalco that came really hard. There's one in the seams there as well between left and middle. They're serving the seams a lot. You see that. But, but certainly that ball coming from, from left to right, that's a tough one to pass. David Mazzanti watching on. Be able to watch a game just as a fan for a change and not as a coach. That's a nice place to be. Ciao. We can just Hello. <laughs> Buongiorno. <laughs> But it's great support here for this first game. We expect it to be almost full for when um, Italy come to play a little later. In fact, right behind us, I hadn't even noticed that. It's, it's a they? block up behind us as well. Well, they are. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> but it's loud. It's not full, but it's loud, and, and the crowd is into it right now. Take a look at Aaron Russell playing well, but I, what I'm so impressed is how well he handles the ball, the hard jump serves. Perfect pass, just steps in there, and he lets everybody else have the glory sometimes. He's taking care of what he needs to do. 
There's Lucas on the other side who stepped in and has done a phenomenal job. Of course, offensively, so good, but blocking wise, very smart, reads the game well. It's already must win set time now for Brazil. Brazil starting in three, USA starting in one. This has been good for them. Christensen with the serve to get this fourth set underway. Flavio could have had a swing on that. DeFalco has a swing. That's brilliant. one nothing USA. It's a nice angle by, by DeFalco. Had the block right in front of him. Take a look at this block develop. They're there in position. And he's still able to hit that ball hard inside. <laughs> really has improved so much over the last year and a half. Ooh, that might just have clipped the line. The referee says it's in, so it's going to be up to the USA to challenge. It's a nice looking swing. He's been going hard cross court almost all night. We haven't seen any of that chop down the line. Here we go, oh, it's another one that's not connected with the sideline. So an early challenge lost, but Brazil still got unlimited challenges as long as he gets them all right, but he gets another one wrong, he'll have none left in the set. Now, does he challenge that? Because that's been given as out. Interesting, I'd be curious to, to see the numbers of Liao as a passer hitter when he passes the ball and then when they set him. How he's hitting his efficiency. That's happened a few times now. <laughs> he's trying to get the ball. Well played, Flavio. And then Darlan says, let's not mess around with the sidelines. Let's just put it right into the court. Yeah. Do what I've been doing. And you see DeFalco again just drifting past the attacker. He has to start in bunch because there's a lot of offense going on. But Darlan, again, screams and then deadpan. Just what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a foot fault from Darlan. <sighs> Tried to catch up with that toss. It was way far in front of him. And uh, just can, couldn't catch up with it. That's him clipping the line. DeFalco now with the serve. Well played. But it's going to be free ball USA. Point USA. And DeFalco does well because he has to. The ball clipped the foot. He might still have been technically in play. It is again that quick attack out of the back row, right between the defenders. Got to pick a side. It's, it's, it's tough, not just on the blockers, but on the defense as well. 5-1 already here for the USA. What a start. And that's not worked. Make that 6-1 USA. Brazil's going to have to slow something down here. Oh, Brazil, the, the Volleyball Nations League champions from last year are in trouble. They, they are trouble. right now. I mean, the USA playing well, but Brazil's not, not quite responding. Some uncharacteristic mistakes on their side of the net. Largada, largada no cai. É hoje a gente empurra, o empica o braço com a gente, acelerando o braço. Dando fora de pé, dentro acelerando. Estourar em cima. Got to stay focused, the USA. Got to keep their eyes off the scoreboard and on the processes here. Absolutely. And Brazil, you know, they USA is going to score. They know that, but they've made that serving error, a missed hit, two hitting errors, unforced hitting errors. Those are the things they clean up, and this obviously is a much closer set from the start. Decent serve. 
And Flavio's missed. What is going on with Brazil? A little misconnection there. Sets a little bit low, but still got to keep that in play. And well, make, yes, they're going to make some changes here. So uh, Fernando's come on in the back row and coming into the front row is Adriano, the 20 year old outside hitter. We'll see if he passes or not. Well, he's, they're going to play him as an opposite here, so the, the Al's got to step back in yeah. to pass. <laughs> he was going to try and get out. Yeah, no, you can't get out of it. <laughs> yeah, you got to pass. <laughs> exactly. Well, just a delay. And it worked. Well, that's, tough. that's a little missed opportunity there by the USA. Well, that's close. A long look from Leal to the referee. Still looking at him. Yeah, it won't <laughs> change whether he's in or out. You can challenge if you... This is the trouble, because they made that early challenge, right. and now they're like... Mm, I wait. know, when do you challenge? Smith. Oh, and still the connections aren't quite there for Brazil at the moment. Good up by Smith, and that's unfortunate. You're not going to go and risk injury trying to get, it, get that one. See if Brazil can and really find some momentum here. Is that set all the way across the court? And a nice hard swing. Catches Smith there in the left back. Really have got themselves in great rhythm at the outside hitters with Christensen. Well, they are passing nails right now. Christensen's not even moving. He's just. I'm right here. I can see the block. He takes a look at it before he even the ball's even passed. Bit of work for Luca Rally to do. Oh, he's done it. He got Shoji. <laughs> On the way out. So as you tried to get out of the way, he tried to matrix or something, but uh, he's not the one. No, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> There's that swing. Look at Ellie going hard in that angle. Yep. Adriano to serve. Dealt with and dispatched. So is he ha handling those seams so well, moves and controls the pass like no other. That ball is perfectly passed again. And there's Russell, one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Decent serve from Russell, with Fernando having to come way off the net. And Luke Carali hasn't found the court. Another unforced Sarah, but a tough, a tough serve pulls Brazil completely off the net again. Well, it just looks like they're trying a little bit too hard. They're trying hard, they're a little bit disjointed right now, had to make some changes, and it's, it, it hasn't steadied things out for Brazil. Well, that one not making it, so Russell now, but they've got license to go after the serve a bit more, the USA. Yeah. And I guess the critical thing is making sure they keep siding out on time. Well, got to side out, but they also have some opportunities. Brazil's kind of airing themselves out of this, so even three-quarter speed keeping it in play, they might come away with a point. Great ball in. And then brilliant. There's so much of the court available for Kyle Russell on that one, but what a pass from Shoji. Shoji's just been so good. Look at that. Perfect pass, forces the block. They have to drop it in that hard cross court. You have to make a lot of room to play with. Watch. Don't relax, keep the pressure on. Hey, hey, must ask you a question. What happens in these moments? They got nothing to lose. So they're going to go ball. So, so we're going to have to we're going to have to make some plays. We're going to have to make sure we're not going to three meters. We're going to have to play some good transition ball. A lot of volleyball left. Yeah. We're going to have to play. They're going to come back. Come back. Come back. Come back.
download the app and you can play the trivia game of the weekend. It's by no means done and dusted yet for the USA. They've still got a long way to go. There's still plenty of points to play with. They mustn't get complacent because Brazil will be right back at them. Jendrick, question. Jendrick then with the serve. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Incredible from Lucas. That's a nice response out of a timeout. Up, big, fast, straight down. There's no one in the world that's going to handle that ball. See a switch block here. There is a chance of sorts. And they take it. What a swing from Liao. Brazil getting out of that one. You saw Fernando had to move and switch to the left side. They're trying to just mix things up and not get caught. USA sees it, but it can't capitalize on it. See if they make a move again and what offense the USA is going to run over top of Brazil looking for the setter. Left side again. Well, they don't go there. And Brazil will take the point. John Squall's not happy. Here's the play. You see that big attack. And a good defensive effort on the side of Brazil. I think it's a bit of a catch ball, don't they? That's why they're not happy. Yep. But let the ball, keep the ball flying. Lucas with the serve. Keep an eye on Fernando. There it is. Oh, what a shame. He couldn't quite spring high enough to get to it. USA have the side out. It did cost them a couple of points, though. play stretch it out in the back row well they're playing they play lucas at six I, so I know. he can he can run the pick he could well i'd love to see that i've seen it it's incredible I'd love to see it again oh, a little bit too high for adriano is that it's landed in defalco trying to get the block out flavio's there flavio's huge Gets there in time, and it's all him. That's a tough thing. You've got to hit that ball down the line. You've got those blockers in front of you. you have to be able to take advantage of that, hit in the right direction. That's better. This time, Russell puts it away. Russell on this ball, super fast. That quick attack holds the middle blocker sharp inside. Go with the serve, goes after that float, trying to go at the passer hitter and hits that one just right into the tape. Liao. Again, another solid side out. It's not looking like the USA are going to give this lead up anytime soon, is it? No, they, they're just in a really nice rhythm right now. I mean, I, I think the offense is clicking well. No matter where the ball is passed, it's not bad, but if it's off the net, Christensen can still keep them in system. Easy one for Leal to deal with. And oh, Flavio's overcut it. But he's caught some fingers. Yeah. He's a lucky boy. Love this play. Watch him drift past the zone. Flavio goes from one zone to the next. Starts in the middle of the court and then drifts past the block. Early call. Good leave. DeFalco makes sure that uh, he doesn't have to do anything with it. And so the USA will go back to serve with Kyle Russell. Serve. 
Brilliant ball in. And then four oh. players pretty much in the air then. Yes. Except for Adriano, he was the only one who didn't. Incredible. And you just don't know where that ball's going. You don't, and it's it's up and down, and that's why you can get directly underneath it. Everybody's coming in. You watch the offense go hard into that angle one more time. Sharp cross court. Adriano now to serve. Oh, that's a good ball in because there's still options. Great up by Mikey. Oh, and again, this time by Russell. Darlan has another swing, but now there's a chance here for the USA. Two in front. Oh, but Russell has not found the court, but he thinks he's got a touch in the block. Oh, Starter with Mikey keeping that ball alive down the line, but we'll see if we get a touch here. Wow. Oh, this is huge. We don't get that many rallies in the men's game because no. they hit it so hard. Carlos Schwenke having a little look on, he's not sure. No. But that was an incredible rally. Absolutely. We talked about Carlos Schwenke. He coached this team last year at the VNL. Did a fabulous job getting that win. No, it's not cool anyone, is it? It really hasn't. Despite the best efforts of Fernando, he's like, I didn't even get it. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> right again, an opportunity for the USA to keep an eye on that Brazilian block and be smart with what they're doing offensively. Again, an over and around, Fernando. He's going to get it back, and he's going to bang it down the line, but not in. Comeback is on for Brazil, maybe. Are they getting in the heads of the USA? Time out by the USA. One point at a time. We got one point at a time. Hey, we got to keep the ball off the libero. Okay, we got it. He's automatic. Side out of 100% so far this match. Get it off of him, okay? So we can go back, get it off the libero. Let's get some reels back. Get some reels back late. Pop the bubble here, okay? There we go. USA. There's still the lead for the USA. They're still looking to side out to go three in front. And it's just not as comfortable as it was, Adriano. Oh dear. That was unexpected. And that's tough, a third hitting error. Unforced hitting error on the side of the USA. Christensen going against the flow on that ball. Nice touch by Lucas. Better touch by Adriano. Oh, oh what a block oh. by Jendrick! <laughs> Man, and you see Leal knows it too. He smiled right after it. Jendrick got this straight down. That is a monstrous of all blocks. <laughs> that was incredible. Great finish, side out achieved. It's a real tussle at the moment. I like that run by Lucas, even though the block's in front of him. Gets his arm back and up and beats Christensen before he's able to get over the net. Fernando, I'm really good at doing a nice job. He's done it before, Fernando. Yep. Bruno's not been functioning, he's been taken off. Fernando's come in and changed things around. Middle. Oh, good cover by Russell. Oh my goodness, three to go at. Oh, well played that time by De Falco. Because Fernando stepped out of the block and there was just that little bit of room, yep. wasn't there, he could work he with. Saw it. it started with him, look, he backs off the net completely just to let Lucas go for it. De Falco sees it, and tools off the hand. A beautiful play.
Oh, DeFalco knew not where the ball was, but he will do now, though. And he'll put it on the floor. And the lead is back for the USA. Finding that angle, DeFalco knows that ball is in, and so does Brazil. Does that swing hard into that angle? That's what it means to the team. Tutti quanti, testa sinistra con le mani così. I really like the demeanor of that timeout. You know, it's it's noticeable. There's no panic. There's no one freaking out right now. They know they can't do that at this point. It's set forward. But a lot of calmness on the side of the field. Saying, hey, we've got to get this side out and take care of it. Decent ball in to help with that. And then Leal over the top. So first job done, but they need stuff. They need those points from serving. Really good passing in, and Leal just going over the top, and you can't defend that. So good side out play, but it starts with that pass. Oh, what a ball. Really tough serve. But there's a chance now for Brazil. Oh, Leal's not found any hands. He can't believe oh. it. He was looking for it. What a difference. That could have been 18-19. That was a huge swing right there. They're feeling the pressure now, Brazil. Christensen. Done it again. Does he get touches? The ref says no. Now, it's still the conundrum. Do they challenge this? Do they have a look to see? That's they beautiful. are going to yeah. have a look. You got to. I mean, at least, at the very least, you're going to slow it down. I, you know. I... Well, Smith's not going to admit to it, is he? He, had it, he lost his fingers in the first set. He said, no, I didn't touch it. <laughs> didn't touch it. We'll see. Leal didn't look super confident when he was looking for it, so. And this is it, I mean, this, this set is everything. Look at that, they're just so, so far above the nets, like a badminton net. <laughs> Oh, what a good touch by Smith. And he takes a block with him, but great pick up by Tales. Another chance here, probably a better one. But has he found the court? No, says the referee. But there are touches according. Well, the referee's given the touch and admitted to. So we have that. It is the USA's point. You see them talk about it across the net. And here's that play. Pick up by Tales, keeping it alive. Brazil doing everything they possibly can to keep this, this match going. And the slightest touch at the net. Oh, what a set. Oh, good up by Smith, though. A little bit too much of the ball in the net, and it'll be the USA that profit. Well, Brazil had another swing. To get that going, a beautiful set. Looks like either Lucarelli is cramping or just not sure right now. So changes being made again. Darlan's back in. Bruno. 
this back in, but is it too little too late? Are the VNL champions of 2021 about to exit this VNL 2022 at the quarter-final stage? Ah, John Sparrows, we're just happy to be here, team, about to go into the semi-finals. <laughs> Oh, they're not just happy to be of here. Course. They are happy to be here. Being <laughs> but, positions. man, he knows they've made some significant improvements and just playing so well as a unit. We'll see if Bruno can come back in and Darlan to make a change. Well touched by Russell to Russell. That's going to be tough. Oh, well oh. played. Goodness me, Liao right into the crowd. Good up by Tales. Oh, oh, what a block! What a point! What a match! Leal all the way into the stands, making that play. Unbelievable chase down. Let's see if we can follow this one. There he is again, getting after it. All that he has, Brazil knows this is it. They cannot give up without a fight. But the USA oh, lost. <laughs> Too strong. It's now match point for the USA. Christensen with the serve. And he's aced it! And the USA have done it! They have beaten Brazil by three sets to one. And the USA are into the semis. Brazil are going home! What 